In this video, we are going to talk about the top eight free online courses in material sciences and metallurgical engineering. This is Prof. 1, and I'm ready to learn every day. So now let's get into it. Now we have some online platforms which help us to learn things very easily. And today, what we are going to use is Coursera. And Coursera is going to help us because they are the top eight online courses are accessible through Coursera. So let's look at something if you are new to Coursera or if you've not heard it before. What is Coursera? From here, it's a Coursera is an online learning platform featuring courses, degree, certificate programs, tutorials in wide range of subjects. And it's very one of the best websites to learn with. Now it comes in various ways. We have the app on App Store, we have it in Play Store and we can also use the um their website in the now one may ask how do you log into what or how do you create account using Coursera now for you to create an account you just go to Coursera.org login or Coursera login so now when you come here we have this interface for you to learn um, for you to log in so you come here you can if you're a new person here or you are new to Coursera you just come and sign up you can also if you if you have your Google linked with your browser you can just go like continue with what Google right you just continue with Google, and when you do that, it's very easy to do that. Or you can even come here, right, to join for free. So after you've done all this, then this will be the interface, right? So this is my interface after logging or creating your account. Now these are some of the courses I'm doing. We have foundation, data, data everywhere. I have paused these courses because I'm busy at the moment on my final year project. Now one advantage of Coursera is that you can learn at your own pace. You set your own weekly goals, and you can complete the course. As far as you've registered and you are eligible to take the course, any time is available for you. You just need to do that. So I'm doing Excel. I'm also doing machine learning. I'm doing everyday Excel. I'm doing learning how to learn, powerful mental tool to help yourself. So apart from the eight top course I'm going to tell you today, you can also add these to it. So the first thing you're going to do, the first course you're going to talk about is, you see in the in engineering industry, one thing is a priority, which is safety. So you're going to look at safety safety in the utility industry this course talks about safety i get on it and it comes in a it's it's actually not free but for developing countries we can assess this through financial aid so most of these courses i'm giving you you can what apply financial aid now how do you apply financial aid check the description of this video i have done a video on how to apply financial aid and you can do that and you can know that this is under electrical engineer but still this is safety in the utility industry you don't know where you find yourself because as a material science or metallurgical engineer you can find yourself anywhere which also involve electric house right so with the scope of um learning we know that you come down right you earn a certificate career then you come here you have the basics hazard response preparing for hazards in the workplace and administration that's safety administration and management now it is offered by university of buffalo and the state university of new york i've done this course and bet you it's very interesting to do it right and one thing is that even though the time for learning is what 11 hours this is at your own pace and about thirty-four thousand people have what enrolled this course including me the next one i'm going to talk about as a material engineer or a metallurgical engineer you talk about corrosion so this course talks about corrosion right protecting the world introducing corrosion science and engineering and I said, wherever you see financial aid, that means that you can apply financial aid. This is not a free course. But since you are in a developing country, most in the African side, you can apply this. And it's very simple. Check the description again of this video and you access to the video on how to apply for financial aid. And this, the scope is that you're going to learn about, you earn a certificate, you're going to learn a principle of corrosion, cathodic protection, surface engineering, oil field corrosion and control i've done this course and but and it is offered by one university of manchester these are the top 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 what universities in the world and then how see how employees at top companies are mastering in demand skills and they are demanding it now at the end of this video i told you that you know the reason why you should do all these eight courses i bet you the next one i'm going to talk about is that as a material engineer or a metallurgical engineer let me say metallurgist we have some 10 things which you should know so material science 10 things every engineer should know in the field of material so we are under what the faculty of mechanical and chemical right so you can also 
um recommend this course for other people in the faculty of mechanical and what chemical and it comes with also financial aid and here we have the NS certificate and these are the things so i love this creep deformation fractal toughness fatigue ductile to brittle transformation I love this. I love this. When I started this course, it's it's amazing. I think I it's amazing, right? Because I'm doing material filler analysis and from the insight from this course has really helped me. Help me, Angasa. Now it's eight hours to complete. As I said, flexible schedule. You can do it at any time, right? What you need to just apply for financial aid and then you are good to go. The next one we're going to talk about is the material behavior. So material behavior, how do material behave, right? So you need to understand as a material or a metallurgical engineer, you need to understand how metals behave, how ceramics behave, how polymers and all behave, right? So composite also, how composite behave. So you come to the scope of learning, you, you come to what? Student effort, you come to easy. So all these are the scope, right? Point difference, vacancy, crystal structure, atomic structure, bonding, linear but it's very interesting and i bet you when you do this course not only that you are doing this course you're also getting certificate at the end i'm going to show you why you should do all these courses right then that's what i'm going to talk about is about characterization technique which is called transmission electron microscopy transmission electron microscopy for material science and this is a technique a characterization technique which will help you to characterize materials and uh, we have 45 hours to complete because this requires like after doing this course, you'll be expecting it, right? And then let's come to the scope of learning. Scope of learning, you end a certificate introduction. This and it is offered by this is a French, you know, Ecole Polytechnique de Ra. De, I'm not a French, I'm not a French man. I'm a Ghanaian, right? So this course is very important because when you learn this, it's going to give you some technical skills on how to operate with what DEM. Now let's move on to the last but three we have ferrous right ferrous technology i did this course and it really helped me in ferrous metals and then it's ferrous technology one and it's financially aid available as i said all these are financially aid available and this is just four hours to complete very easy you can just complete it within a day you can scale it schedule it within one day two days or three days and you are done with the course and get the inside of it now we move on to the six word models we have introduction to steels and iron ferrous metallurgy and steel industry and then it is offered by what on hand university of science and technology who stake let's move on to the last but two that one is the same thing it's ferrous technology two which is offered by the same university so when you do ferrous technology one you need to do ferrous technology two to uh, make sure that you have complete course completed right now the last one i'm going to talk about is the nano you know this is for you see most of the time the material we're going to deal with is now moving at the nano age right so the nanotechnology nanotechnology and it's very important and it's 26 hours to complete wow and it's flexible you do 30 quiz note that you do quizzes there are things that you need to do before you get a certificate so you need to be dedicated do quizzes and i love you you love it right now you move on now after that you end certificate let's look at the scope for the scope, these are the nano fabrication. Nano is very important. This is a very good and it's offered by Duke University, North Cal Caroline State University, and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And it's very, these are all universities with their award. They have dignities. Now, I asked you to, I told that reason why you should study all these courses. Now, first one is LinkedIn. Now, building your CV building yourself adding value to yourself right so linkedin is connected to coursera so when you do a course you can automatically build up with the lances and certification so when you come to linkedin we have lances and certification i'm opening my profile so this is my profile my name is steven onoma i'm a metallurgical engineering student a final year student so you come to lances and certification we have i've done wilderness first aid which is the skills and then you go to what protecting the world introducing what corrosion science there are a lot i've done so it adds value to yourself it helps you build your cv and it creates because these are all knowledge and it helps you in building you yourself as as a metallurgist or a material engineer there are these are just the top eight but there are other courses that you can also do on coursera 
which is very important right now the certificate let me introduce you to one of my certificate that i did now when you go to linkedin right and then you go to one thing is that you go to um the course that you've done and that you you play what you show you press show credentials it's going to show you the certificate aspect it's going to show you the certificate so that's why i say it is linked right it is linked so it's going to show you the pdf you can download it that means that i've done a course and it will show you your name this is my name this is university of manchester Stephen Onoma, protecting the world introducing corrosion science and engineering and this